All right. Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course, pleased to be joined by Gwen Parks of, um, of course, IU TV, as well as, uh, well, just, well, I'll just let you tell everybody what you do. Hi, <laughs> I'm Gwen. I'm a junior at IU and I'm from Washington, D.C. I'm kind of a far away, but I'm studying sports media here and I am a part of Big Ten Student U here at IU, which makes me a sideline reporter for Big Ten Plus. And I covered football for IUS TV, student television station. And right now I cover uh, women's basketball on my own channels. And I'm covering Little Five in the springtime. So that's pretty much what I'm up to right now. Oh, and, oh I'm forgetting. End of this year, I worked for Adidas, did some content creation with them, which is really cool. My life's all over the place, but I love it to death. <laughs> okay. Um, so what made you want to do this? My my biggest thing is that I always helped. So in high school, I tried out 9,000 sports and I loved them to death. I was, I did cheerleading. I swam forever, did gymnastics, rowing. I did lacrosse for a little bit. And it was my favorite thing in the whole wide world, especially cheerleading. I turned around and I just, I love being at every game. I learned so much about it. And then I realized I wasn't like ready to be done with the sidelines after cheerleading. I'm like, what can I do? I can't not go on with my life without being on a sports team, being involved in sports. What do I do? And I'm like, you know what? This seems like a good option for me. And then I came here and I started studying it and I just fallen in love with the career. I just, and everything. I love it. Yeah. It just seems like, um, you know, anybody that, um, that covers, um, you know, media obviously goes to there are certain schools you know the Michigan States the Arizona States you know Indiana is obviously one of the top ones um and there's obviously tons of people that have come from you know Indiana that do this and so kind of kind of talk about just like your most surreal moments like wow I'm doing this I my I guess my real big surreal I had two of them and my first one was when I was able to cover the Big Ten soccer title game and it was Rutgers and Indiana. And it was the first time Rutgers is bringing home like a title trophy back to their school. And it was their women's team to do it. And that was so exciting. And you could just, I, you could just feel the, the hard work, the passion. And I, I got to be right there. I got to ask the first questions after they won. And I was, I was like, this is amazing. This is so cool. It was just like a very, and I went home and I just sat in my car and I just thought about it. Like afterwards, I was like, that was cool. But the other one, I I got assigned to do the Purdue um, Indiana women's basketball game last year. And that was just sick. That was awesome. I, I felt so cool. I, I got to know those players so well before that reason for that game. I did so much research, spent so much time trying to talk to them and get it. And me and my group had a flawless broadcast, flawless interviews. It was just, everything was perfect. And I just, it was amazing. Yeah. That was cool. So, um, you know, of course, um, talking about what, what is like, what's like the, the sport to cover that, that you really, really like to do? Football, football, IU football this year. I know people have their opinions on the team. Yeah. I absolutely love covering it this year. And it was my first time covering it. And I wasn't sure. I like, I, my biggest thing is I want to try everything. I don't know entirely what I love, what I want to do. And you can't have that mentality. So I take whatever is given to me. And I realized this year that I would, I absolutely love covering football. And it's a big thing that I would like to do when I'm older, but it was amazing. Yeah. So talk about just, um, you know, I know that there's lots of different avenues that you can take with this. Um, do you feel like you, what is, what's the biggest thing that you've learned throughout, well, uh, let's just say this past year. This past year, I would say the biggest thing that I learned is that is just do everything that you can. And just the worst thing that someone can say to you is no. And go out your way, meet people, just do as much as you can for everything. If it's something you're passionate about, because people want to help you and you might not realize it, but people want to help you with your passion as long as you, you try if that makes any sense. Yeah. That's my biggest thing I probably have learned this year. So going into, um, so what are you currently working on now? Currently working on right now, um, I'm about to 
transitioned into covering Little Five for the student television station and finishing up coverage for women's basketball, but on the not sports media side of things, I decided I'm going to take a stab at doing the race myself. So I'm taking a little bit of a different route this semester while doing my work. And I'm going to participate in Little Five, which I've never done before, but I feel like it's a good time my junior year to try something new. Why not, right? So wait, you're actually going to be in the Little 500? Yes. Yes. And I'm going to cover it for the student television station. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but so how, so what made you decide, okay, I'm going to go out and do the little 500. My sorority, someone brought up that we hadn't had a team in a while. And I was, we were at a chapter meeting and I'm like, I'll do it. I'll do it with the team. And then I just, and I got a bunch of other people to try to do it with me. And then it all was like that. And people keep coming up to me like, how are you going to do a bike race that you've never biked before? And I'm like, I'll figure it out. I, I, I'll figure it out. That's what you do. It's like riding a bike. You'll never forget. I'm excited. I just dropped off my bike at the bike store down the street and I'm going to go pick it up tomorrow. And I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, you'll have to see me. I'll update everybody on Twitter because I have no idea how I'm going to do, but I'll figure it out. Yeah, that'll be, it'll be interesting. I was like, are you like, are you like nervous to do this? It's like, you got a bunch of sorority, uh, you, a bunch of your sorority sisters together. And I'm like, well, let's just form a, let's just form a team and let's go do this. That's, well, like they, like we need, we hadn't had one in so long and I love little five here. And I'm like, y'all, we need to step up our game. We got to do it. And then, so now we're like slowly collecting people to do it with us, like, and convincing them, like, this is going to be a great experience. You have to do it too. And then we'll see. We're going to try when the snow clears, we're all going to try to do our first bike together. My dad used to be a biker. He used to be a triathlete. He yeah. golfed in high in college. He was like a very sportsman. I had him on FaceTime yesterday. He was helping me fix the bike on FaceTime. And, but also that not to mention that every a lot of what I do is because of my dad and my mom they're both they grew up with sports and they're just they were amazing people yeah. so I, I know you're only you're a junior if I'm not mistaken Art right yeah I'm okay well, I know you gotta I know you're always thinking about this you know with internships and coming up where do you want what interests you like outside because I know that um the job that everybody wants may not be what everyone's gonna get yeah <laughs> Like, I mean, my biggest thing is I'm never going to set myself to one thing I want to do. Right. If an opportunity comes with anything, I'm taking the opportunity and I will learn as I go because this, this is what the biggest thing is about this industry is learning and growing and being thrown into new situations and mm -hmm. challenges. And that's what keeps me excited and interested while I'm here are the challenges and able to grow each and every opportunity that comes to me. But I had that biggest realization when I... I reached out to a friend of mine at home. She's Alexis Shaw. She's a sideline reporter for the Capitals. She kind of became like an older mentor for me. And we, we had a chat and I said to her, I'm like, I, I, I want to do, I think I want to do basketball forever. I'm like, I don't know. I'm not sure what I want to do. And she's like, you can't have that mentality. She's like, when I graduated college, all I wanted to do is football. And she said that uh, someone in DC called her up and offered her a job covering hockey with the Capitals and she had to go. And now she's like a, hockey genius and she's gonna she's big in dc just because of hockey she's well known she's um she's so great and she's so talented at what she's talking about like that's who i i aspire to be her so much she's such like a influence for me she's great yeah so really just i mean there's a i mean there's a lot of sports out there there's you know there's baseball there's you know there's foot you know football basketball you got soccer, of course. You got all. I mean, you're in Indiana, so of course you got all the the motorsports with the Indy 500 coming up. Um, so there's a lot of things out there. What what overall just what what would be something? It's like, oh, I want to maybe try this. I I have my I've covered a lot here, like you said, and I, which is my most favorite thing that I've gotten to do here. I got to cover men's and women's soccer, basketball, softball, baseball, like everything under the sun and it was just and football and like this year I didn't know entirely if I was going to like I liked the idea of doing football and I wanted to try it out and I decided this year that if I got a job in football I'd be very happy I love doing football that it was pretty life-changing this year and it gave me 
just an opportunity to grow in interviews and learn more about the sport. And I just, if I had to pick for like what I could do for the rest of my life, it would be cover covering football. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so of course you talked about you, the plans for the rest of this year, just kind of going into what you're kind of doing now. And then um, what you're most looking forward to, to just, uh, just for the rest of this year and heading into next year. Yeah. So my life right now is just after football, it was like a big chance to like kind of figure things out. So now I'm just doing women's basketball for my YouTube channel and then looking for internships and little covering little five and practicing for little five. So it's a little bit of a semester to chill out and I'm really looking forward to little five. I think that's going to be very exciting and it's like a new experience. And I liked that I was challenged with the fact to not only report on it while being in it. So I feel like they'll give me a entirely new perspective to give, give good content. You know, that's my, what I'm looking forward to most. And after that, looking forward to my senior year next year, whatever internship I get this summer, graduating, doing some cool things. That's my biggest thing. All right. Well, Gwen, thank you so much for coming on and talking and, and talking with us and best of luck uh, to you uh, this year. Well, let's have you on again sometime. Thank you so much. I enjoyed this conversation. It was so great of you to reach out. I love this.